Hey y'all, cooking, cutting up, keeping it real. Tonight in my kitchen, I'm doing a quick chicken fettuccine alfredo and I'll show y'all how I'm gonna do that. I actually had a packet of, uh, I think there was 10 um, chicken strips and I marinated them in Italian dressing. <clears throat> and they were thin. So I took those and cut them up bite size and browned them in this skillet. And I'm gonna make the roux or the Alfredo sauce live for y'all to see. Um, I actually called my oldest son who lives away from the house. He has his own house and said, hey, if you're not cooking, I'll, I'll cook enough for you. And then he messaged back and said, can his girlfriend come, which is great. She hadn't been here for a meal yet. This is six tablespoons of butter. Um, and then he said, do you have enough for Spencer, who is his roommate, who I dearly love. And I'm gonna make it, this This is how you make, you know, stuff go a long way, is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'm gonna melt this butter over me, uh, low to medium heat. I'm gonna add in one um, clove of garlic that I have minced or, you know, cut up. Put that in there. And as this melts, I'm gonna add some flour. You're gonna add one tablespoon of flour for every tablespoon of butter. So I did five tablespoons of butter. I'll do five tablespoons of flour. I also have penne pasta that's boiling here because that's what I had. I didn't have fettuccine, which pasta is pasta and it's gonna be delicious. So anyway, what's for dinner at y'all's house while my butter's melting? Let's see if I can see. Well, hey there. Hey, Benjamin. I'm so happy to see you. Oh, you are so sweet. I appreciate that. Um, I end up cooking the same things every week, it seems. So I haven't done a lot of videos lately because literally it's been the same three things. It's been pork tenderloin and asparagus and a baked potato for one night. And then another night it's uh, grilled chicken and um, some type of pasta and a salad. And then the third night is usually a spaghetti or a pasta. Tonight's gonna be the, this pasta. Anyway, this butter is just about melted. So I wanna keep a close eye on it because I don't want my butter to burn. So to this, I'm gonna add five tablespoons of all-purpose flour and keep stirring it. There's two. There's three and four and five. Okay, to this wonderful um, Alfredo, I'm gonna add a little bit of, of Italian seasoning. Let me get this to where it's, the flour's cooking a little bit. Get this rocking and rolling. Yep, that's looking good and smelling delicious. Okay, to this, I'm gonna add some seasoning. You could do any protein you want to with this. You could do chicken, you could do shrimp, you could do scallops, whatever you want. Let me stir that in. Now, as I'm stirring this in, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some milk. Keep stirring. Let's see if I can see y'all's comments. Get my bifocals on here. Let's see what everybody's doing for dinner tonight. Hi, great. Well, thanks, Ellie. Good to see you on here. Let's see. Somebody's having baked chicken, mixed vegetables, and baked potatoes. Do y'all find that you have the same things all the time? Especially during the work week. I just, it's easy. It's easy to grocery shop for. I get a pork tenderloin. I get a thing of chicken, and I have a hamburger in my freezer. So I end up doing the same darn things all the week. Tonight is a little different. I wanted to do something different. And now that I'm having company and get to feed my boys, I love that. And I really like Drew's girlfriend. She's very sweet, her name is Jessie. So hopefully Jessie will have a good impression of my cooking tonight. Yeah. Sloppy Joe's, that sounds delicious. Love sloppy joes. That's something I hadn't had in a while. I might need to do that one night. 
I haven't had like tacos in a long time. I might do tacos one night. Having chicken spaghetti in the crock pot. Ooh, Verna, that sounds delicious. It's Mexican casserole, I love that. As this starts to, starts to thicken, I'm gonna add more milk. I'm actually gonna turn the heat up just a tiny bit. And I'm also gonna add Parmesan cheese to this. And I think the noodles are almost too al dente. Let's see. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna turn the heat off of those. And I'm actually gonna add just a little bit of that starchy water from the pasta to my, to my Alfredo sauce. I don't wanna, just a little bit. Just a little bit of apple, do you? Give it a little more liquid. And this is heating up nicely. I can smell it. It smells wonderful. Low, low carb Mexican pizza. That sounds delicious. Hamburger steaks, truffle oil. Yum, Angie. That sounds delicious. What time is dinner? I've discovered Instapot. You know, I gave my Instapot to Drew. I, I got, I'm so good with a crock pot because that's what I've cooked with for 33 years. And I just didn't love the Instapot. I, I couldn't get into it. So I gave that to him. All right, I'm gonna add some more milk to this because it is getting thicker. And I'm gonna keep, keep it moving. Hibachi, yum, that sounds delicious. Me too, I stick with my crock pot too, Michelle, I have to. I'm, I'm really good at a crock pot. Like, so why mess with something that you've already mastered, right? You know what, I think I turned the wrong darn burner off. There we go. I turned that burner. I wanna turn that burner off and this one stay on and I had it just the opposite. So anyway, this is still thickening though, and it's plenty hot. And then I'm gonna add all of this together at the end, and we will have chicken fettuccine alfredo. It won't be fettuccine, it'll be chicken penne pasta alfredo. But either way, it's whatever you got, make it work. And it stretches that menu out so that it feeds more people because you got a lot of pasta, which is gonna fill them up. I'm gonna make a salad, I've got the, the the frozen garlic bread ready to go in the oven, and it'll be a meal. I find it relaxing to come home from work and cook a meal, but now I do want to get it done before I sit down. Like, I want to get all my chores done before I sit down to rest. You know what I mean? Hey, good to see you too, Tracy. Welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. Okay, as this gets thicker, I don't want it to be too thick. But it needs to be thicker than this. I'm gonna turn the heat up to medium. Now while that's coming up heat, I'm gonna dump this into the colander that's in my in my um, sink. I'm also gonna add about half of this, which is let's see, ten ounces, so five ounces of Parmesan. to my Alfredo sauce. Let that get good and melted. All right, let's dump this. see how this is coming oh yeah this is getting nice and thick I'm gonna add just a dab more milk and let that warm through and then I'm gonna put it all together just a dab let me put this back on the flour container so I'm gonna go ahead and dump the chicken into the pasta and we go
this is a lot of pasta and a little bit of chicken. Probably need to do uh, more chicken, but I didn't have it and my guest list kind of grew. So we're gonna make it work. Even if I have to just eat a salad and garlic bread, that'll be all right. I think there'll be plenty of pasta to go around. Okay, see how this is thickening? I'm gonna go ahead and dump that over the pasta and then stir it all together. Let me turn this burner off. It's Italian gravy, basically. And that is what's for dinner here tonight. Chicken penne pasta alfredo. Remember, five tablespoons of butter, you get five tablespoons of, of uh, flour. And that, my friends, is what's for dinner in our house tonight. I'm gonna put a lid on this, keep the heat off of it, and let it just soak in all those flavors. And then when the boys get here, we'll just have a salad, some garlic bread, and our pasta will be ready. I'm gonna shake a little bit more of this on top. And that's all she wrote, folks. Give it a try. Easy peasy, quick and easy, economic, and it feeds a lot. Anyway, that's what I'm doing tonight in my kitchen. Chicken, fettuccine, alfredo, not fettuccine, penne pasta, alfredo. Y'all have a great evening, and we'll see you when we see ya. Bye now.